Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Nahar Geva here again. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a comprehensive guide on how to find eBay competitors. This video is going to cover method number two, two out of four effective methods to find competitors. Again, if this video reach 100 likes, I'm going to share with you a link to video number three, method number three in the description below. So go ahead, smash the like button and help us reach over 100 likes because the more likes we get, the more people are gonna get into these videos and please help us to help more people. Let's move into the video and get started teaching you how to find competitors to scale your business. So also method number two, uh, we're gonna have two steps. Step number one is use Zeek Market Insights dashboards. You can see here a sneak peek into the Market Insights dashboard. You wanna go on the Zeek Market Insights dashboard and set your seller settings to explore relevant trending products and trending sellers slash dropshippers. So after you set it up, all the data that you're gonna see on the dashboard going to be relevant to what you're looking for. And then you can go ahead and move to step number two, which is scan competitors. Use the detective buttons to initiate competitor research scan and find competitors, okay? So let's dive into my screen and see exactly how we're gonna do it. So as mentioned on the bullet points, we are going to start from the Market Insights Dashboard of Zeek. This is the Market Insight Dashboard. Here you can explore training eBay niches, training dropshippers or training sellers, training eBay products, and get an access to an e-commerce calendar. Now, as I said, first you need to go and set up your seller settings. This is crucial because once you change those settings, the results here will change. The trending eBay products will be adjusted. The trending dropshippers or sellers will be adjusted and will give you the, pro the type of products or type of, of sellers you're looking for. So you go here and you put your uh, marketplace. I'm selling on eBay.com. Of course, we cover here all eBay markets. My business model is dropshipping, arbitrage, wholesales, or brand owner or reseller. For this example, I'm going to go for dropshipping. If you're doing reselling or brand, if you're a brand owner or wholesaling, you can change it accordingly. And I'm sourcing from, and you can see that if it's dropshipping, we support AliExpress, Amazon, and Walmart. And if it's wholesale, we only uh, give you the, the ability to cross compare products with Alibaba. Okay, let's leave here on Amazon for this example. And now, as you can see, everything here in front of us is Amazon information. Now, I will do one, one thing just to show you the example. If I'm changing here to wholesale, as you can see, everything is loaded and we get wholesale products. We get wholesalers, people who are selling their own stock here. And then you can use this little button to find similar product on Alibaba, okay? If I change it to dropshipping and I'm going here for Amazon or Walmart or AliExpress, then all the data will be changed. And as you can see, we get here trending eBay products that dropship from Amazon to eBay, training dropshippers that all of them are sourcing products from Amazon. And this is why it's so efficient because you don't need to go to the supplier websites, copy a title, search on Zeek uh, or search on eBay and find the seller and copy the seller name. You come here, you adapt the seller settings and you get relevant data for your need. It's super powerful. It saves you a lot of time. Now, because we already know that we are looking for Amazon dropshippers and we know that here in the results, those are Amazon to eBay dropshipping products and these are Amazon dropshippers. All we need to do is to just try those sellers. So I can go on the left side and hit the scan seller button on any of those sellers. I can go on those products and just try to scan any of those sellers here, okay? But I want to give you some a little bit more insights on how you make a smart decision at this stage. In at this stage, how do you analyze that? One thing, of course, when we look on products, is to look on products with a lot of sales in the last seven days and a lot of sales lifetime. The more sales there are, the most likely the interesting the seller is going to be or the product is going to be. Sales and revenue always lead us into what we're looking most, and is high demand, right? So I can scroll through it and see if I see any unique seller, any unique product. Uh, and other things here, by the way, which can be very useful when analyzing the training eBay products is to see the profit margins because this product sells for $34.99 and the guy make $18 profit margin. Here, $42, $9 profit margins. We want to find sellers working on high profit margins. I'm going to teach you later in the last 
part of this video, how to analyze competitors and their profit margins. But if we find a competitor with high profit margins, it means we're most likely going to find many products where we can be very competitive on price and sell for high profit, right? So you can analyze this result. See, okay, this product here, let's click the button. Or this product here, let's click, click the button. This one here, selling for $24, $5 profit. Here is the exact same item, right? This looks like a good seller. Profit margins are very nice. 18 sales lifetime, three sales in the last seven days. And then I can go ahead and click the scan seller button, the detective icon. Then I came across these competitors with $4,662 in revenue. So instead of just randomly click all of them and go one by one, I want you to always think and always read the clues, read the, the, the full picture. Now, second thing is in the trending dropshippers. In the trending dropshippers, it's pretty simple. You see the seller name and country, the feedbacks and the sales. Now, let me tell you how you analyze this information. Country tells a lot about the sellers because if seller is from the US and he's selling on eBay.com, he has an advantage. He's a local seller. He has to use the same currency. He uh, can get discounted um, uh, or cash back on his credit card. And uh, he can even have a better operational cost, right? While the international seller who live in Israel or live in other countries, for instance, Vietnam or Thailand, they have more costs, okay? They have more costs. And uh, they need to deal with currency conversions from time to time. Uh, uh, they need to deal with, with any other uh, uh, operational costs for being abroad. They don't have a discounted credit card and stuff like this. So already it's telling us that if there is an international seller that is successful, it means they overcome the challenges being international and they're still performing well. So I want to go and analyze these sellers, right? I want to see what these sellers are doing. Second thing is about the country of the seller is the communities. On eBay, there are different communities. There are There is the, e, the US community, the Israeli community, the Bulgarian community, the Vietnamese community, the Sri Lankan community. There is many different communities. And based on the communities, they use different strategies for the dropshipping business. They also have different profit targets. For instance, Sri Lanka is a place that people will be happy with very small profits, right? While Israel, it's very expensive, so people need to work on very high profit margins. So based on all this information, having all of this in your mind, you can read the picture and say, you know what, let's first spend time analyzing Israeli competitors. So now I click on three sellers, instantly open them here. By the way, a little tip, if you hold the control button and you click, it will open the tab without to move to the new tab, okay? Then you can open three, four sellers, and then you can go ahead here and you can look into those sellers. And then we instantly found an Amazon to eBay dropshipper who made $8,000 revenue in the last 30 days. And all you need to do is go throughout the product, you know, do the full process that I'm going to teach you later and just find the exact same items, right? So this is the power of method number two. This is how quickly you can find competitors using the Market Insight dashboard. And if you're dropshipping from AliExpress to eBay, all you need to do is switch here to AliExpress and put product ship from China and you will get all the relevant results for this. If you're all selling, you do the same, so you can play with the dashboard, get the results you need, and start your research looking for competitors. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you find this part valuable as well. Moving now to method number three.